Right, Brian, your big night, testimonial night. It's been a long time in coming, but uh, 15 years of service and it all comes down to tonight. A great occasion for you. Yeah, definitely. It was worth the wait. The fans turned out in big numbers, which I'm very proud of, very happy about that. Game didn't go to plan, but it wasn't really about that. I think my mates were playing, ex players were up, so good occasion for me. I really enjoyed it. Must have been a great buzz when you walked out the tunnel there and you got the big the big roar and the ovation. Yeah, definitely. It's not like me, I don't really like a lot of attention on me, but it was brilliant to have all the boys were clapping me on and cheering me on. It was brilliant. Slightly embarrassed by it, possibly. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. The kids helped me along, like they were a wee bit nervous as well, so we all helped each other. Of course, I. And as a fair, I mean, to be fair, that's a young ranger side, but a very slick ranger side that, yeah, I mean, that showed a class. Their team lights started with a lot of young boys, but to be fair, they were sharp, they were fast, they were very, very good. All credit to them. Gave us a good, good game. Now, how old were you when you first kind of came through the Elgin Youth setup? I mean, how long is it you've actually been with the club? I've been since I was 12, so it's 18, 18 years now. I've been here. This is my 14th full season. In the first team but I still feel quite young so I still get about the park so hopefully I have a few years left. Can you possibly imagine when you were like 16 and getting your first first team appearance that you'd have been like well 15 years later almost you'd have been on close to 500 appearances and closing in 100 goals? No, it's an amazing achievement I mean you don't really take it in as you're playing you know not till you get towards the end of your career you start to realise how much you have actually done it's a proud moment for myself and but long may it continue. And you talk about your age as well, they're 30 year old, I mean, you could you could potentially have quite a few more years and a lot more appearances ahead of you. Yeah, if I start looking after myself, a bit better, I could get a few more years, I've got two years on my contract to go, so hopefully this will be a year we can push on and do something, because I think the club needs it, the city needs it. I mean, as like one club players are very few and far between these days, I mean, has there ever been temptations to go elsewhere, or has Elgin always been a club yeah, for you? It's just always been a club for me, I mean, if there's been interest when I was younger, but there's never ever anything concrete, I mean, a lot to give up like working and family life to go full time maybe just for a year but I would have, would love to have tried it just for a year but my heart's here so I'm quite happy. You brought a few guest players back in, a few blasts for the past, Craig Gunn and, and the likes we probably should have scored maybe in your testimony uh, match. It would have been good to get a goal, I mean the boys turned out in their numbers, ex-players came supporting me, I can only thank them so hopefully they had a good night. And a thousand, uh, more than a thousand turned out for the game as well so that's, that's a, a testament to you. Yeah, all credit to them, the fans turned out big, big numbers, didn't really expect it being a midweek but fair play to them, really happy with it. And now the preparations start another another new season, uh, the first cup action there on Saturday, good feelings ahead of this season? Yeah, we've had a good pre-season, we've had a lot of games but I know it's maybe not the teams like that we're going to play in the cup but we've been working hard, we've been defending well and scoring lots of goals so we just need to get a uh, fitness in the tank we'll play these bigger teams and get ready for league season really